engine electrical. 1. When a 28 volt, 75 ampere generator is installed on an aircraft, an electrical load analysis ground check is performed and it is determined that the battery is furnishing 57 amperes to the system with all electrical equipment operating. This indicates the load will be within the generator load limit. 2. As the generator load is increased within its rated capacity, the voltage will remain constant and the amperage output will increase. 3. The constant current method of charging an ICAT battery is the method most effective in maintaining cell balance. 4. If a generator is malfunctioning, its voltage can be reduced to residual by actuating the generator master switch. 5. What is the frequency of most aircraft alternating current? 400 Hz. 6. Aircraft copper electrical wire is coated with tin, silver, or nickel in order to prevent oxidization. 7. Which of the following Federal Aviation Regulations require that all aircraft using fuses as the circuit protective devices carry one spare set of fuses or three spare fuses of each kind required? 14 CFR Part 91 8. Why is a constant speed drive used to control the speed of some aircraft engine driven generators? So that the frequency of the alternating current output will remain constant. 9. Arcing at the brushes and burning of the commutator of a motor may be caused by weak brush springs. 10. Refer to figure 4. In a 28 volt system, what is the maximum continuous current that can be carried by a single number 10 copper wire 25 feet long, rooted in free air? 35 amperes. 11. Refer to figure 4. The following data concerning the installation of an electrical unit is known. Current requirements for continuous operation. 11 amperes. Measured cable length. 45 feet. System voltage, 28 volts, do not exceed 1 volt drop, cable and conduit and bundles. What is the minimum size copper electrical cable that may be selected? Number 12. 12. How many hours will a 140 ampere hour battery deliver 15 amperes? 9.33 hours. 13. The maximum allowable voltage drop between the generator and the bus bar is 2% of the regulated voltage. 14. 1. Alternators are rated in volt amps, which is a measure of the apparent power being produced by the generator. 2. Alternating current has the advantage over direct current in that its voltage and current can easily be stepped up or down. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 14. What device is used to convert alternating current, which has been induced into the loops of the rotating armature of a DC generator, to direct current? A commutator. 15. Which Federal Aviation Regulation requirement prevents the use of automatic reset circuit breakers? 14 CFR Part 23. 16. As the flux density in the field of a DC generator increases and the current flow to the system increases, the force required to turn the generator increases. 17. The generating system of an aircraft charges the battery by using constant voltage and varying current. 18. In order to reduce the possibility of ground shorting the circuits when the connectors are separated for maintenance, the AN and MS electrical connectors should be installed with the pin section on the ground side of the electrical circuit. 19. The most effective method of regulating aircraft direct current generator output is to vary, according to the load requirements, the strength of the stationary field. 20. What type of lubricant may be used to aid in pulling electrical wires or cables through conduits? Soapstone talc. 21. 
which Federal Aviation Regulation specifies that each resettable circuit protective device requires a manual operation to restore service after the device has interrupted the circuit. 14 CFR Part 23 22 What is used to polish commutators or slip rings? Very fine sandpaper. 23 Bonding jumpers should be designed and installed in such a manner that they provide a low electrical resistance in the ground circuit. 1. Most modern aircraft use circuit breakers rather than fuses to protect their electrical circuits. 2. Federal Aviation Regulations Part 23 requires that all electrical circuits incorporate some form of circuit protective device. Regarding the above statements, only number 1 is true. 24. The part of a DC alternator power system that prevents reverse flow of current from the battery to the alternator is the rectifier. 25. The stationary field strength in a direct current generator is very according to the load requirements. 26. Why is it unnecessary to flash the field of the exciter on a brushless alternator? Permanent magnets are installed in the main field poles. 27. What is the maximum number of bonding jumper wires that may be attached to one terminal grounded to a flat surface? 4. 28. What is the purpose of a reverse current cutout relay? It opens the main generator circuit whenever the generator voltage drops below the battery voltage. 1. Electrical wires larger than 10 gauge use uninsulated terminals. 2. Electrical wires smaller than 10 gauge use uninsulated terminals. Regarding the above statements, only number 1 is true. 29. Aircraft that operate more than one generator connected to a common electrical system must be provided with individual generator switches that can be operated from the cockpit during flight. 30. When installing an electrical switch, under which of the following conditions should the switch be derated from its nominal current rating? Direct current motor circuits. What speed must an 8-pole AC generator turn to produce 400 Hz AC? 6,000 RPM. 31. Generator voltage will not build up when the field is flashed and solder is found on the brush cover plate. These are most likely indications of an open armature. 32. A high surge of current is required when a DC electric motor is first started, as the speed of the motor increases. The counter emph builds up and opposes the applied emph, thus reducing the current flow through the armature. 1. Electrical circuit protection devices are rated based on the amount of current that can be carried without overheating the wiring insulation. 2. A trip-free circuit breaker makes it impossible to manually hold the circuit closed when excessive current is flowing. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 33. ONOFF2 position engine electrical switches should be installed. So the on position is reached by a forward or upward motion. 34. If the points in a vibrator type voltage regulator stick in the closed position while the generator is operating, what will be the probable result? Generator output voltage will increase. 35. What type of electric motor is generally used with a direct cranking engine starter? Direct current, series wound motor. 36. According to the electron theory of the flow of electricity, when a properly functioning DC alternator and voltage regulating system is charging an aircraft's battery, the direction of current flow through the battery is into the negative terminal and out the positive terminal. 37. A typical barrier type aircraft terminal strip is made of paper based phenolic compound. 38. How are the rotor windings of an aircraft alternator usually excited? By a variable direct current. 39. How many basic types of circuit breakers are used in power plant installation electrical systems? 
3. 40. The resistance of the current return path through the aircraft is always considered negligible, provided the structure is adequately bonded. 41. When the starter switch to the aircraft gas turbine engine starter generator is energized and the engine fails to rotate, one of the probable causes would be the starter solenoid is defective. 42. The time current capacities of a circuit breaker or fuse must be below those of the associated conductor. 43. A term commonly used when two or more electrical terminals are installed on a single lug of a terminal strip is stacking. 44. The reason for flashing the field in a generator is to restore correct polarity and or residual magnetism to the field poles. 45. When does current flow through the coil of a solenoid-operated electrical switch? Continually, as long as the control circuit is complete. 46. Which of the following aircraft circuits does not contain a fuse circuit breaker? Starter circuit. 47. When selecting an electrical switch for installation in an aircraft circuit utilizing a direct current motor, a derating factor should be applied. 48. What is the smallest terminal stud allowed for aircraft electrical power systems? Number 10. 49. Upon what does the output frequency of an AC generator alternator depend? The speed of rotation and the number of field poles. 50. One way that the automatic ignition relight systems are activated on gas turbine engines is by a drop in compressor discharge pressure. 51. When installing electrical wiring parallel to a fuel line, the wiring should be above the fuel line. 52. Aircraft electrical wire size is measured according to the American wire gauge system. 53. What precaution is usually taken to prevent electrolyte from freezing in a lead-acid battery? Keep the battery fully charged. 54. Electric motors are often classified according to the method of connecting the field coils and armature. Aircraft engine starter motors are generally of which type? Series. 55. As a general rule, starter brushes are replaced when they are approximately one half their original length. 56. The maximum number of terminals that may be connected to any one terminal stud in an aircraft electrical system is 4. 57. What is the ampere hour rating of a storage battery that is designed to deliver 45 amperes for 2.5 hours? 112.5 ampere hour. 58. A certain direct current series motor mounted within an aircraft draws more amperes during start than when it is running under its rated load. The most logical conclusion that may be drawn is the condition is normal for this type of motor. 59. Alternators, AC generators that are driven by a constant speed drive, CSD mechanism, are used to regulate the alternator to a constant hertz output. 60. Electrical switches are rated according to the voltage and the current they can control. 61. What is a basic advantage of using AC for electrical power for a large aircraft? AC systems operate at higher voltage than DC systems and therefore use less current and can use smaller and lighter weight wiring. 62. Electrical circuit protection devices are installed primarily to protect the wiring. 63. What are two types of AC motors that are used to produce a relatively high torque? Three-phase induction and capacitor start. 64. Which of the following is regulated in a generator to control its voltage output? The strength of the field. 